What's up guys, WWE Fan Talkshow here. Today we're going to be taking a close look and review at the brand new AEW Blood and Guts MJF and CM Punk Ringside Exclusive 2-Pack. Now you can go to Ringside Collectibles and use discount code TANNER, T-A-N-N-E-R, all caps, to save 10% at checkout. Taking a close look at the box right here, we have the classic Blood and Guts looking packaging. We have the black on the front with a bunch of blood splatter open window. We even got some blood splattering on the window right here. And what I love about the Blood and Guts figures that we get is when they're in two packs, it represents a match. And I just, I just think it's better when there's two figures because then it just it's better represented and you can put it on your shelf and it just kind of makes sense. But when there's one figure and it's only one figure, then you're kind of like, why is that one figure all bloodied up? But you got an MJF and a CM Punk here. And I mean, not to mention this match was super iconic. So it's cool getting both figures in the set. Plus it's CM Punk. Um... But this was my favorite out of their match series that they did, personally. And I think it's great that we're getting it in a ringside exclusive Blood and Guts 2-pack. So, there we have CM Punk and MJF standing right there. We have a bunch of chain coming throughout on the packaging. There's the side of the packaging. We see MJF and CM Punk, says Unrivaled. And something I love about the AEW packaging, especially the Blood and Guts, is that we get this kind of matte finish. It's kind of flat, so it's not super shiny and glary when you're reviewing it. So I appreciate that. There's the back right there. We have CM Punk with the chains wrapped around MJF's eyes. We have their signatures, MJF, CM Punk, uh, dog collar match. That's right. That's what it was, a dog collar match. And then over here, uh, we have an open window, and we see all the accessories that come with the figures. We see a screaming MJF head scan, a screaming CM Punk head scan, and all their interchangeable hands looking freaking sick. There is the top of the packaging. Not much at the bottom. Now let's get to it and review these figures. Here we have the CM Punk and MJF out of the packaging, and I gotta say, this is probably my favorite Blood and Guts 2-pack. I think the Cody and the Dustin was really cool, but I think this one takes the cake right here. Number one, I do think that this is more of a violent match than than the than this uh, not CM Punk than the Cody Rhodes Dustin match. You know, because this is a dog collar match, it was probably more blood, and it was just brutal. And it was cool getting to see CM Punk back in the ring um, in a bloody esque match. Uh, so here we have the two figures right here. Before we jump into the details on the figures, let's look at the accessories. Starting off with MJF's accessories, he comes with this uh, bloodied screaming head sculpt, which I think it looks pretty much like MJF. I think they pretty much nailed it for what Jazz Wears does. Um, I don't think that their head scans are usually that stellar and stunning, but uh, you know I think this is good for what the uh, uh, for what Jazz Wears does. So there we have the MJF head scan, and then there are a couple of hands that MJF comes with. If we can gather those. Uh, really quick, let's see, he comes with an opening, or opening, he comes with an open hand, kind of like a mic holding hand, I guess you could say, with some blood on it. He comes with a fist, looking really cool. He comes with the other hand that he's wearing on the right side. Uh, we have the left version right here. And then we have a, another fist for MJF. And I do appreciate that they added the detail with the tape. You can kind of see, like, there are taped lines on there, which I think that they should do with more of the figures. I think that's pretty sick. Uh, as for the CM Punk, we do get a few different hands. We have uh, probably the most unique hands. We have the go to sleep hands, as you know, before he hits that GTS. He puts them in these pillow-esque or prayer hand-esque pose kind of... Wait, is that the same hand? Yo, what the heck? They give me two of the same hand. <laughs> ah! Factory defect. That is freaking hilarious. So I have two of the same exact hand. I can't even hit that exact pose if I wanted to. Um, that's kind of a bummer. Luckily, none of the other hands are like that. Let's let's check to make sure. That's kind of weird. That is strange. Okay. Anyways, he comes with uh, two fists that are not the same hand, which is pretty nice. It says drug free. We got the blood on there. And then the best head scan in the entire set. This is my favorite. It's got to be the bloodied up CM Punk head sculpt, and I think it would be sick if somebody could manage to remove this red paint or repaint it and just have a messy-haired CM Punk. Like, I think that maybe this one might work better as a regular matched messy-haired CM Punk than this one, uh, but I just love this. This is probably the one I'm going to be using for this figure on display. I just think it looks fantastic. And uh, one last thing to mention, they do come with this awesome background where it has MJF a, uh, and CM Punk locked in a headlock right there go to sleep or whatever you want to call it um a or chokehold a headlock whatever whatever that's called you know coquina clutch 
um, but looking very fantastic. Very cool. Now let's move on to the detail on the figures right here. Let's take a look first over here at MJF. It's fallen over. Uh, the nice thing about this set is that I don't think this isn't the nice thing, but I don't think you can remove this. I think you have to pop the head off. I think that's the only way. I was looking at that earlier, but yeah, it looks like that is the only way to get it off. Let's pop off the head. Let's pop the MJF head back on. And taking a close look at MJF, I think that this is a very cool looking figure. Uh, this is one of my favorite MJF attires that he's worn. I wasn't the biggest fan of any of the figures we have seen previously uh, from Jazzwares having to do with MJF. I think the last one where he had white and purple, I think that's his best one uh, other than this one right here. Uh, but I think that this one is the best, and I hope that we get this re-released without all the blood, because this is probably my second favorite gear. I think my favorite has to be uh, the Iron Man match against Brian Danielson. I think that white gear looked freaking fresh, and I hope we get that in figure form. I hope we get this one in a non-bloody form. Uh, but taking a close look at MJF, same sculpt that we've seen before, or same mold that we've seen before, tattoo. Uh, we get the nice elbow, elbow pad right there, which doesn't really seem to hinder any articulation. Uh, too much. We got the blood splatters all around. We got the little see-through rubber band so you can hold on to the chain. We get the nice greenish teal, not really teal, more of a green in person. I think it's a green. It's like a, a bluish green or a very light green, uh, but it reflects like a blue almost. But it says MJF right there. Um, we get the shin sleeves and the blue knee pads right here, or the re not red, sorry, green knee pads. And then we have the white boots with the gold logo on there, looking freaking fantastic. And uh, and then we have the pissed off MJF head scan, which I think is probably the best one. I think for the sake of this pack, I think it's smart if you use the screaming head scan so they're like in action. I just think it makes the most sense. Uh, but very cool. I'm going to take this hand off right here. I'm not the biggest fan of that MJF hand. So let's see. Let's put on a open hand right there. There we go. Now we have two open hands. Looking very cool for MJF. Very fantastic. Let me know in the comments down below, is this an updated uh, skin tone for MJF? Did they update it? Is this the same as the last one? I don't have the other one on me right now uh, to check that, but I think this looks pretty accurate. So very cool MJF, fairly impressed. Uh, and now we have CM Punk, the figure I think everybody's buying this set for. And uh, let's try to take these chains off, hopefully not break it in the process. It's all wrapped around um, I think it's rubber bands. There we go. Getting that off. Freaking rubber bands are in the way. Oh my god. Be careful with that. Anyways, putting this head scan back on. Here we have the CM Punk. And I think this is my favorite CM Punk released by Jazz Wars yet. And partly, that is partly due to the fact that I was thinking that we weren't getting this figure. I remember seeing the uh, the scans for it not the real figures, but the proto images and I was like, oh my god We need this freaking set right here or, or this figure and Then the whole thing went down with CM Punk and I was like, oh crap. I don't think we're gonna get it That's a bummer, but we did and I'm freaking I'm super happy about it And I do think that they did a lot better with all these tattoos comparing it to some of the other CM Punk figures we have uh, I have every single CM Punk figure um, in my collection, I have the Walmart exclusive, I have the regular CM Punk in the black tights, and then I have the ringside exclusive, and I haven't unboxed any of them. Um, I do have one out of box, and that is the regular release for the CM Punk, and that is a custom uh, CM Punk. Let's see if I could pop it up right here. Uh, let me find it really quick. There it is. And here is the other CM Punk right here. Uh, and that is a custom CM Punk. I took some Stu Grayson legs, I think it was Stu, and I popped them on, and uh, I think it looks pretty sick. So there's the regular CM Punk next to this CM Punk. I think this one is a little bit taller. The adjusted height is a little bit better, but it is what it is. Uh, but taking a closer look at this CM Punk, I think the tattoos look fantastic. The blood splatters coming throughout look great. This head scan with the, the messy hair looks really good. I think that this would be fairly easy to take this blood off and just make it into a messy haired CM Punk. Um, but I'm not going to mess around with that because I don't want to mess this figure up. We've got the blood coming down, trickling down onto his off white pants. And somebody, uh, I've, I've been hearing people saying that this is uh, not accurate, that the color on the on the pants are here are not accurate. 
But I could have swore that these were old CM Punk worn shorts. Like I could have swore that he wore these back when he was like on the indies or or ECW. I could have swore that he wore these and then wore them again for this match. Like I could have swore that's what what, ha what happened. Or maybe they're just a throwback design. Um, I'm not sure. It could be wrong. Uh, maybe it is an inaccurate. But to me, I, I, mean, I don't really care because I don't notice. But I think it looks freaking sick. It says Punk on the side right there. Uh, we have that P up there, which looks a little strange. I think if the leg was up like that, it looks a little better. But maybe that's what they're trying to do. And we get the blood splatters all throughout. We get the triple X right there. We get the blood on the back. Black kick pads. Looking freaking sick. These aren't the usual kick pads we get. These are the Kenny or Mega or they pack. They might be pack shoes. Yeah, I think that's what that is. And the black um, molding under there. And then we have the knee pads with the open back. So very cool looking CM Punk. Now let's pop off some head sculpts and uh, kind of play around and see what we get here. We have this screaming head scan, which to me is the one. This is the one I think I'm going to use. This is the one in action. You can just kind of tell like this is this is the head scan they put in here for that moment when he's about to freaking pin MJF. Uh, after hitting him with that ring. So very cool. Bloodied up CM Punk. Now let's pop on the other head scan for MJF. Popping that off. Looking very sick. Here we go. All right, let's check it out. There is the Scream head scan for MJF. Let's have him on his knees. Pleading for mercy. There he is. CM Punk screaming at him like, you're about to die, bro. Uh, but anyways, yes, let's pop this head scan off. Get that dog collar back on. The dog collar is like a plastic, I don't know if it's plastic or if it's just a very light metal. It feels like metal, but just a very, very light metal. It's perfect. It's not heavy, e easy to move around. I'm glad we didn't get anything rubber. I know that's like what Mattel usually gives us. So it's nice to see Jazzwear. Jazzwear is kind of stepping outside of the box and uh, giving us stuff that we want. You know what I'm saying? Getting that wrapped around. Kind of put it in his hands right there. There we go. Maybe in this hand as well. Probably what he would do, right? Wrap it in both freaking hands like he's about to suffocate him, choke him to death. There we go. He's about to end him. And he's like, no. Let's wrap it around his neck. Boom. Look how sick that is. That is sick. I think that's the way I'm going to pose it up on the shelf. But as we know, CM Punk freaking carries him up. Look at how sick that is, too. You can pop him up. He's screaming. Look, I mean, that's just perfect. That's an action shot. We need more. Like, they call these figures action figures. But sometimes, like, you can't get a lot of action out of them. Because this is this is action right here. This is an action pack. This looks like it's mid-action. He's about to hit the GTS and end him. Like, it looks like it's real and it looks like what happened inside of the match. Maybe this wasn't 100% accurate, what I'm doing right now, uh, but it is an action shot, and I think sometimes companies just kind of lack the action in action figures. They just are figures sometimes. But he pops them off, boom, GTS, and he's done. One, two, three, CM Punk wins. This is freaking fantastic. Go to Ringside Collectibles, pick it up today. Super fun set. I hope that they do release these figures individually without the blood because these are attires I would like to have with and without the blood, uh, like before the match and after the match. Um, and I just think that these are just some of my favorite releases by Jazzwares in probably the past year. I mean, I don't always love what Jazzwares gives us, um, I feel like they re-release -re a lot of stuff, but when they give us something unique like this, I'm all freaking for it. I'm all over it. So make sure to go to Ringside Collectibles, use that discount code, save some money, it's 10% off, discount code Tanner. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. WWE Fan Talk Show, out.